rotisserie chicken in the Instant Pot? Yes, you can. We call it fotisserie chicken. You gotta love rotisserie chickens, right? When you go to the store, you yeah, grab one in its case, it's hot, it's juicy, it's delicious, it's convenient, and yes, I use them all the time. Well, I used to use them all the time until I learned how to do a fotisserie chicken in my Instant Pot. And you can too, it'll save you a bunch of money. It used to be the rotisserie chickens were like super cheap, and now they're not. But the good news is whole fryer chickens are still super cheap. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make what is equivalent to a rotisserie chicken in your Instant Pot. It's inexpensive and it's super fast. So it really comes down to two things. You season it and you cook it, and that's it. So for seasonings, I start with some paprika, some seasoned salt, some salt, and some pepper. You can get the full recipe by clicking on the link below to thespicyapron.com. I not only have this, but I have a lot of other Instant Pot recipes available as well. So just mix up your spices and season your chicken. Now, it's quite a bit of spice that I put on this chicken because it is going to cook in the pressure cooker for 25 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of your chicken. And you want all of these delicious spices to uh, absorb into the chicken. So make sure you season the front and the back. You almost can't put too much of this stuff on. Okay, now into the pressure cooker it goes. So the Instant Pot is wonderful. First of all, did you know that little trick where it, like this little lever here goes into the handle and you have a lid holder. I love that. So in your Instant Pot, you place your trivet. And I'm doing this one in the mini. So this is a relatively small chicken. It's about four to four and a half pounds. It just fits in the mini. It's perfect for it. Trivet in there, put one cup of water, and then your seasoned chicken. These are not the easiest things to pick up raw. You just kind of tuck it in there like it's gonna go for a little nap. Put the lid back on. So we're gonna just go ahead and pressure cook this for about 25 to 30 minutes. This is a little bit over four pounds, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on 30 minutes. Just hit the pressure cook button, and then if you need to adjust the time, Go ahead and, oops, it already was at 30 and now it's at 30 again. So we will check back with you in about 30 minutes and find this juicy, tender, meat falling off the bone chicken. All right, well, the chicken should be cooked. If you can look at the timer, you can see it reads five or six minutes. What that means is after it counted down to zero, then I let it sit for five or six minutes. People call that naturally releasing the pressure. It just gives it a little bit of time to release just a little bit of the pressure. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vent from sealing to venting. And it will spray all over you. Uh, and while that's releasing the rest of the pressure, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And I will come back when this is done. It should only be a couple of minutes. All right, we're back. All the pressure is released now. The little pin by the pressure valve has dropped, which means pressure is gone and you can open it. So just turn it, lift it up. There, oh God, I wish you guys could smell this. So good. Here is our beautiful chicken. Now, it's so tender and me falling off the bone, I'm going to attempt to pull it out of here without ripping the whole thing apart. Wish me luck. This is the tin, let's see what's in this one. Oop. <laughs> it just broke it all apart trying to turn it around for you to see. But that, my friends, is a juicy chicken, meat falling off the bone. You can shred it, use it in any recipe, or frankly, just eat it just like that for dinner. So if you want more pressure cooking Instant Pot recipes, subscribe below. Uh, check out thespicyapron.com and enjoy your chicken. Never again do you have to pay too much for a rotisserie chicken.